Hello guys and welcome to Cooking with Mariam. And today I will be sharing with you a bit of baking. I'm going to be making some scone sandwiches. Okay, so first of all we're going to sift our flour. I'm using plain flour. We're going to use three cups and we're going to sift it in a nice big bowl. I'm using a big bowl because um, we're going to be using our hands a lot. So it's better to have a deeper bowl where we can knead our dough nice and evenly. You do not need a hand mixer for this or a stand mixer, just your hands. Okay, so now our flour is done, I'm going to get half a cup of sugar and I'm just going to sift that through too, like this. And then I'm going to get two tablespoons of baking powder and I'm going to sift that through as well. I don't know why I couldn't find my big tablespoon, so I'm just using a teaspoon and literally doing it four times. So now moving on, I'm going to get half a cup of butter. I've chopped my butter into small cubes. This is because it will be easier to knead and to make sure that the butter is spread through all the flour. So we're going to start off by getting our hands and we are going to press the cold butter in our fingertips. The reason we use our hands is because our hands are warm, this will help soften the butter. So when we're kneading we're using our fingertips, yeah, so just like this. So we're going to do this for about 10 minutes until all our butter has become into smaller pieces, blended in with the flour and you'll be able to see that the flour has become into small small to big crumbs. Okay, so that's when you know when to stop. It's been about 10 minutes and my mixture is looking very good. There's no lumps of butter, it's nice and smooth and crummy. So now I'm going to add a cup of raisins. This is totally optional. I really like raisins in my scones, but if you don't, then you can skip this step. It's totally up to you. And I'm just going to mix that in with my hands because the raisins are kind of stuck together in the packet. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to get our wet ingredients ready. So for our wet ingredients, we're going to use two eggs. So I'm going to crack two eggs in a jug. I'm using my mason cash jug to do this. I think it's easier doing it in a jug because you can just pour it in. And now I'm going to get a cup of milk and cream. So I use half a cup of cream and half a cup of milk. I'll just put it in one to mix it together. And I'm going to add that into my egg mix and I'm going to whisk it together with a fork. Um, I like to use cream. It makes my scones really nice and fluffy. You don't have to use, you can use a cup of cream or a cup of milk, but I like to mix the two together. So I'm just going to whisk that and I'm going to put that into my mixture. So now I'm going to add my egg mixture into my dry ingredients and this part is really important. I'm going to use my hands and I am going to knead slowly. Um, now your mixture could either be too wet or too dry. So if it's too dry you may want to add more milk but if it's too wet you'll need to add more flour. I probably used at least another cup of flour because it was so sticky. So we're just going to knead it together, you can actually see it's sticking to the Yeah, so we're just going to knead that together, it's very sticky. And try and get as much as you can from the sides of the bowl, like this. So this could roughly take about 10 minutes. It just really needs to be kneaded together well, so your scones can cook well. So I'm just adding another cup, just like that. As you can see, it's so sticky, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to knead that into a ball. So we're trying to get it into a, a dough ball. Yeah. So now I'm going to put some flour onto my surface. Um, this is so the dough doesn't stick, it's quite sticky as you know. And I'm going to get my dough, I'm going to just roll it even more with the flour. So now that I've got it into somewhat of a ball, I'm now going to use my hands is a rolling pin I just like to use my hands to flatten it out because you don't want it too thin remember your scones need to have a little bit of 
thickness so that it can rise in the oven. So I'm going to just keep turning it and flipping it and just really creating it into a nice base, so not too thick. So just imagine it's like pizza dough, yeah? And I'm just using my hands to spread it out to the palm of my hands, yeah? So just like that, there I have my circle. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a knife and I am going to cut this into some equal triangular bits. I want your triangles to be too thick or too big because you want your scones are going to rise in the oven. So I'm just going to do them. I'm actually just testing them in my oven here. Just like that. Okay, so I have all my triangles done. I am ready to pop my scones in the oven. So I'm going to get my oven tray. I'm going to put them on my oven tray. And the most important thing you need to remember is that you need to put some milk on top of the scones. So I'm just using a brush to slightly brush my scones with some milk. This is going to give it a really nice golden top. And a bit of a crispy top too. So we're just going to be generous with the amount of milk we put on top of them. And I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes. Scones are ready, they're out of the oven. You need to at least wait for about half an hour so your scones can really cool down before testing and eating them. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. This is my second video. Um, I'm getting a lot of good feedback and I hope to that my next videos are going to be coming out shortly. So stay tuned, please like, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, please comment them in the comment box below. And I hope to see you soon, guys.